Hey guys, what's up? So today we're talking about the creation kit. If you guys don't know, it is currently out. It is the thing we've all been waiting for. And if you guys also don't know, the creation kit right now is in beta. It's an open beta. It used to be in closed beta. Now it is an open beta. And it is for currently only PC. Now, this will hit Xbox One and PS4 uh, in the coming months. It will hit Xbox in May. And for PS4, it'll be released in June. Um, so let's go into the tutorial. Or you go to Steam or anything else. You guys want to go to Bethesda.net. Once you are there, you want to go to the Join Now option. And then you want to input your information that you have. So your username, email address, name, password, things like that. Now guys, once you have created your account and you're logged in, you can go to the mods uh, page and you can look at all the different mods that you can actually subscribe to. So if you want to go through any of them, you will simply click on them and click add to my library. And when you get on your game, you will be able to download the mods and install them. The last thing you want to do is you want to go to Fallout 4 on your Steam library. You want to right click it. Once you have it right clicked, you want to go down to Properties, then you want to navigate over to Betas. Once you're on Betas, you want to go down to the uh, bar there and click Betas 1.5 Update. Once you have that done, you hit Close, go over to your Downloads, and now it should be downloaded. When you guys get in the game, if you go down to the Mods tab that is brand new, let it load, you will see at the very top of my library the mods that we added from the Bethesda.net site are there, including unofficial Fallout 4 patch. In order to install mods in game, the one thing you want to do first, I will say, is if you have any mods previously, you're going to want to go into your load order and activate them. So you, you see all of my mods that I have listed, I am currently activating them right here. Make sure they're all checkmarked, the ones you want. And once they're all checkmarked, you're going to hit the escape button. Or uh, you can hit the button down there where it says back at the bottom right. Now, once you have that done, if you want to install more mods, you simply click on one of these that you see and you like, and you click download. Or, if you want to favorite it or rate it, if you like the mod, you can do that. Once you have that done, you want to back up, you want to hit back, and then it'll reload your game, so that way the mods are now loaded, so that way you can actually play <laughs> with your mods. Hey guys, so this is uh, the end of the video, near the uh, end of the tutorial. So if you guys just wanted the tutorial from this, didn't want any first impressions, you can get off the video now. I will now give you guys my first impressions of this new update and kind of what Bethesda is trying to do here. So with this new uh, update, the beta, if you guys sign up for it, it allows you to do your modding in game. Uh, you can manage your load order, you can add mods in game, you can download them in game and play them in game immediately. And overall, it makes uh, it makes modding a lot easier than it was before. You no longer have to uh, look at the essential uh, mods and stuff, this and that. You just click on it, you download it, and you play it. And you can manage your load order in game, which for me is very useful because I forget all the time uh, that I need to get my everything on my plugins uh, selected before I launch the game. So that is very useful to me. Over, I think this is really cool. Um, Bethesda really changed the game with this update. Like, modding has never been this easy before, like, ever. It's always been a little bit of... You have to usually put a lot of work in to get mods on your system. You have to do lots of several different things. You have to prepare your, your game for modding. There, it's just a lot of work for, uh, for modding and me personally I don't mind doing it but making it easier is always good for everybody is good for everybody in the modding community 
Um, and not only that, the mods that we're going to get now because the creation kit is actually out and it's available to people, they're going to get way better. So we're going to start getting quest mods, which there's already a quest mod. Currently, it's one of the top rated mods on the Bethesda.net site. And then we'll get more UI mods, patch mods, and one of the patch mods that came out is um, unofficial Fallout 4 patch. And it fixes hundreds of bugs that Bethesda still has yet to fix. Um, and it's one of the best mods I think that's out there. This is amazing. It, uh, the thing is, a lot of people don't understand uh, that have never really done modding before, I guess, or really invested in modding or done anything with it at all. That once the creation kit's out, it's not like they can just, you know, they, before they can't just add new things to the game. It's It was a lot harder. With the creation kit, it's basically kind of like having a developer software in order to make things and add them to the game. So it makes it way easier to do basic things than how hard it was before. So the amount of mods we're going to get is going to increase vastly. And the quality of mods we're going to get is also going to increase vastly. So if you guys haven't signed up for it, there is a tutorial in this video. Um, if you guys want to go back and click for that, I'll put a little annotation right, uh, right here. Um, other than that, um, you guys need to download it and play it. It is really awesome. Right now it is an open beta, so everybody can go ahead and download this and get themselves some good mods to download. So thank you guys for watching and uh, enjoy the next video.